Alabama at number one. They didn't finish number one a year ago. Clemson beat them on the final play. They do bring back 11 starters, six on offense, five on defense. And normally you would think that's a question mark, but there's so much depth. They lost a lot of talent to the NFL. They have depth. It's going to be tested in this first game, though, as they will face. That's right. Florida State. It's the Chick-fil-A kickoff. Well, Alabama's won five straight in these kickoff games, and this one's going to be no different. I think they're going to be very tough on offense. Florida State's going to have some firepower. Alabama's going to have to be ready on defense with that linebacking core and get some pressure up front, especially from Payne in the middle. Alabama squeaks this one out. After a tough test against Florida State, they'll have Fresno. They've won 15 straight home openers, and you might as well go ahead and mark it down as 16. They're going to beat Fresno. Game number three is Colorado State. The Rams come to Tuscaloosa, although they did play in 2013, where Bama won 31 to 6. That's the kind of score I'm expecting in this one. Actually, if you think about it, they could get in the 50s. Family wins easily. And you're going to see why I love the schedule. They start the SEC on the road in Nashville against the Commodores of Vanderbilt. They won 18 straight against the SEC East. Bama's the one that drops anchor. They win in Nashville. Well, normally you'd be a little bit concerned when Old Miss comes to town. Remember the 48-43 last year? No Chad Kelly. There's all kind of turmoil and trouble in Old Miss. Bama takes care of the Rebels easily in this one. First true road test of the season, if you don't count the neutral game against Florida State. The visitor has won 4-2, and two, so I don't care how many yells you do. I don't care how many bonfires you light. This one's going to be a tough matchup. Going to Cowfield is always a test, but Bama squeaks this one out. If you're looking for a trap game, this is the one. Arkansas comes in between a Texas A&M and Tennessee Sandwich, but the Arkansas Razorbacks have lost 10 straight to Alabama. Will Austin Allen be enough? They have a lot of talent on the outside. I don't think it is. Bama wins this one at home. Normally, you're excited for a Tennessee-Alabama game. This is a crazy rivalry, right? Nope. Volunteers have lost 10 in a row. Do you see a pattern building here in the SEC? They've dominated the eastern side of the conference. This one's no different. Although Tennessee has shown some sparks, Alabama at home is tough to beat. Well, you say give us proof. LSU coming to town. Yep. They are 18-2 against SEC opponents at home since 2012 when A&M beat them their first year in the conference. This defense is going to be tough. I don't know what to expect from LSU. All I know is Bama is tough to beat in Tuscaloosa. They beat LSU. Take a breather, cuz. Alabama is 9-0, and and they go to Starkville. Last chance you has ruined football in this state. Nine straight wins. Go ahead and make it 10. Now, don't get me wrong. I love the SoCon. I cover a lot of their games, but Mercer will be overmatching this. The team from Macon. Come on. I don't even want to talk about this. This game is going to be absolutely ugly. Name your score. Bama wins. The toughest game of the year will be the Iron Bowl, and it is in Jordan Hare down on the Plains. 45 wins to 35 wins. That is the series between this. Bama's got a 10-game advantage in this one. It's going to come down to injuries and big plays in this one. If I had to pick it today, I would pick Bama to close it out, go 12-0, and win the SEC West. Roll the dice and pick an SEC East team. Let's say it's going to be Georgia. They have the most talent, in my opinion, on the offensive side of the ball. Bama is going to come into Atlanta for the second time. This time, they'll be more ready. They face their lesser opponent in Georgia than Florida State. Make it 31 conference championships. Bama wins by two touchdowns. Fast forward to the college football playoffs. It is the semifinals. USC against Alabama. You know Southern California wants it. Don't call it Southern Cal. And this will be the best offense that Alabama will face all season. Whatever team they face in the playoff, where it's Clemson, Washington, Florida State, Ohio State, the best offense is in the playoffs. Bama's defense prevails, and they're going to face Ohio State in the championship game. Urban Meyer was embarrassed by getting shut out by Clemson a year ago. They are back. JT Barrett's going to be tough, but not tough enough. He's no Deshaun Watson. If they can hang with Clemson, they can hang with these kind of offenses. I know they've been their Achilles heel, but I think the running game of Alabama is just going to be too much. 
Defense wins championships, and Alabama goes 15-0. Like, subscribe, put a comment below. What do you think Bama will do this year, and who's your playoff teams? We'll see you next time.